Laura Duenas, a wildlife biologist with the Department of Agriculture, says a recent announcement from the International Union of the Conservation of Nature is a major milestone for the cuckoo bird. It used to be extinct in the wild and, and now is, um, is cri critically endangered because of our um, release populations on Cocos Island and Rhoda. The cuckoo, or the Guam rail, is a bird endemic to Guam, which means it was found only on Guam and nowhere else in the world. It's a flightless bird, um, uh, so, you know, nests on the ground, stays on the ground for the most part. Um, they do climb trees, you know, just like you find a chicken up a tree. They, they can do the same thing. Um, and they're omnivorous, so they eat everything from seeds, fruits, to insects and, um, like, small, uh, small mice and things like that too. Duenga says if they're able to get the status change to no longer threatened at all, the cocoa bird are great for pest control. They're really big heavy hitters for um, controlling uh, insect species and especially um, invasive species in the wild on Guam. So once we get these, by, get these guys back out into Guam, then it would definitely um, change the tide of how invasive species uh, uh, disperse and affect our island. It was back in the 1960s where there was an estimated 60,000 cuckoo birds on Guam. But then during the late 70s and early 80s, there was a big decline in the bird population. That was attributed to the brown tree snake because they saw as the um, brown tree snake was found more and more in the jungles throughout Guam from the south up to the north, the bird population mimicked that in their disappearance. So as the snake population grew, the bird population actually started to decrease as well. In the mid 80s, there was roughly about 21 to 24 cuckoo birds left in the wild. Then in 1984, it was placed on the endangered species list. By 1987, they were able to catch 21 birds and put them in captivity. The next goal, according to Duenas, is to actually get them on Guam, which is their native range. There's actually populations for the last five years. Um, we've been monitoring the cocoa population on Rhoda, and we've um, actually had it where we've never had a disappearance in the population in these in, in certain areas in Rhoda, and we've actually had confirmed reproduction. So chicks, families with chicks, actually sighted um, all for the last five years too. So it seems that there's a, a stable population in Rhoda, and that can actually act as a, a, um, a source population for Guam reintroductions. Currently, there are about 200 cuckoo birds in the wild in Rhoda, and another 60 are on Cocos Island. The people of Guam still have barriers to access to them. You know, you either have to get on a boat or a plane to actually see the birds in the wild. And so what we want to do is um, perpetuate the importance of the birds, especially Guam's birds, the endemic ones, for for all of the people on Guam because, you know, if you can't see them, it's kind of out of sight of out of mind. Laura wants to thank the community for their constant support. Everything that everyone does, you know, this this whole change in um, supporting eco-friendly initiatives. It's also, you know, the revitalization of our culture. You know, these guys have an aspect that they play in it. And when they disappeared, we kind of lost that. And so to get that back out, it's all kind of mingling together and interwoven that, you know, our the protection of our land is not just us, it's the birds as well too. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jonah Goncharvis.